especially welcome our visitors. As you can see, we have overflow in the Madonna Center. So um, also there will be books distributed afterwards free of charge. So for one per family, you'll see the titles when you go out. Today we're having the Shrapinsky family bringing up the gifts and also um, we have Morgan who is carrying in the infant Jesus and uh, we'll then have a blessing of the creche. So include in your blessing of creche the one you have at your own home. Please turn to number 92 and join in singing, O Come All Ye Faithful, number 92. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the Spirit, may the grace and favor of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. As we begin, we ask for God's blessing on this Christmas manger and upon ourselves and our own mangers that we have on display in our own homes that we who reflect on the birth of Jesus may share in the salvation he accomplished. God of every nation and people, from the very beginning of creation, you have made manifest your love. When our need for a savior was great, you sent your son to be born of the Virgin Mary to our lives he brings joy, peace, justice, mercy, and love. Lord, bless all who look upon this manger. May this manger remind us of the humble birth of Jesus. And may it raise up our thoughts to him, who is God with us, Savior of all, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
And now as we begin to celebrate word and sacrament, let's call to mind on this joyful day that Jesus Christ came to save us, save us all from our sins. Angels, we have heard of our sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in regard, echoing their joyous rings. who gladden us year by year as we wait in hope for our redemption. Grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our Judge, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the low yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed, as at the day of Midian. Every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, you will burn for fuel for the flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us and upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful, from David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Be 
with joy for the holy one is among you cry out with joy for the holy one is among you cry out with joy for the holy one is among you cry out with joy for the holy one is among you Indeed, God is my Savior. I am confident and sure. He is my courage. I am not afraid. My strength comes from the and praise to the Lord. Cry out among the nations. With joy you will draw living water from the fountain of salvation. For the Holy One is among you. Cry out with joy. For the Holy One is among you. Sing praise to God, proclaim His glorious deeds. Zion, shout for joy and fall on your knees. letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age. As we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God, and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people of his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks. I've seen a great light on the land shadow. 
good by death and light now shines What joy you have given What gladness I'll celebrate and tease you Like workers ending the harvest Strength, light and darkness Strength, light and darkness Great joy, great joy, great joy, great joy Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the second chapter of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. By our gathering here this evening to celebrate word and sacrament, we are saying to one another and to Jesus, we can do better than just a birthday song. So we come here to celebrate the story, to celebrate in word, and then to celebrate in sacrament. Thank you for being here. That's what makes Christmas so special when we gather as a family. So what's the real message today? If you were to listen to the merchants on the street and the lights and the tinsel, it's all too commercial. But we come here to listen and to see the real message of Christmas. God has come to save us. That's what the word, the name Jesus means. God saves. And re cry out, come let us adore him. The message is that our relationship with God is new. 
For God sent his only begotten son, who is our brother. And so we can recognize this new relationship with God as Father. And so we cry out, come let us adore him. The message we celebrate is, love like this the world has never seen before. God becomes man in our midst, in our history, in our time. God so loved the world. And so we cry out, come let us adore him. The message is, now we people are never alone. Jesus takes us by the hand. We, his brothers and sisters, he will hold us close. And so we cry out, come let us adore him. Christmas, filled with memories I'm sure you all have. What particular memories do you have of the best Christmas you can remember? That's the one we continually try to redo and make even better. I have two stories in mind. Christmas 1955. We had buried our baby brother in May of that year. And we all moved on, the 11 children, and with our parents. It was financially, I look back later, a very difficult year for Henry and Gert. And so Santa came. We each had at least one gift under the tree. High expectation. What did Santa bring? We knew it was mom and dad. I opened my present and I just was so disappointed. I got a pair of socks. And I looked up and saw my mom crying. I had such shame. Can you understand that? I began to realize what Christmas was all about, just beginning as a nine-year-old. It wasn't about me. It's about Jesus Christ coming to our family. I learned a lot that Christmas. The second story comes from a parish in North Omaha where I used to help when I was a Benedictine. The pastor and I got along very well and at Christmas I would go over there and this one particular Christmas he recounted for me the following. They always put up a big creche off to the side at the Blessed Mother statue. It was all very nice and ornate. And one particular Christmas Eve, a black sheep appeared in the creche. They were all white sheep before. Where did this come from? The pastor left the black sheep there, was wondering who brought it, and before the season ended, the black sheep disappeared. It happened again the following year. The black sheep appeared from where he didn't know. And it disappeared at the end of the season. The third year he decided to hide out in the sacristy. 
and to see who brought this black sheep. He caught her. It was a woman. She was embarrassed when he came flying out of the sacristy and said something like, you're the one. Why the black sheep? And all she said was, Father, I wanted to be represented. And so I look at any crash that you see, whether it's an angel, an ox, an ass, a sheep, the magi, the shepherds, Mary and Joseph, the baby. How are you represented? You will see that I have a black sheep. On this altar back here, it's another crash. So take a good look, look at that black sheep. Just when we think we're not worthy, we hear again, Jesus came to save. God with us. We have all the decor and tinsel and trees in the world but nothing quite so magnanimous, magnanimous as seeing the baby Jesus in our midst. Today we're all asked, no matter what our age is and what our health is, to be a child again. Be a child again. To be overwhelmed with this great act of love that the world has never seen before. And here we are celebrating that at this humble church of St. Henry. We had four banners up here during Advent, recognizing the anticipation of this day, Christmas. Hope, love, joy, and finally the Prince of Peace has arrived. But you know, just because Christmas has happened, we still have to live out Advent, hope, love, joy, and peace into the new year of 2022. Hard to imagine. Two zero, two, two. Already? But we can do better. We can do better. Let's celebrate the great memories we have of Christmas past. If we can't do better, let's revel in the memory. Let's pass along our stories. And then we can say with that song of Christmas, I'll be home for Christmas if only in my dreams. Let us stand as we recite our Nicene Creed together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And now we kneel during these very important words of the Creed. and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. Let us stand. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, 
and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this vigil, when we celebrate the coming of Jesus, the light of the world, we come full of confidence to present our petitions. For the Church, celebrating throughout the world that the dawning of Christ's birth be a reminder of his abiding presence and an inspiration for service to humanity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all peoples of the earth, for peace and goodwill among nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families who are unable to be together on this holy night, that they may be comforted in the knowledge of shared faith and brighter days to come, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the birth of the baby Jesus may strengthen our resolve to welcome, nurture, and protect every child born and unborn, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the lonely, and the brokenhearted, may they find companionship and support from those around them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We give thanks for our musicians, for those who arranged all of this special decoration for Jesus' birth, Nancy, Bob, Terry, Jim, and Monica. We also pray for Larry and Kathy Thompson of Thompson Farms for donating the trees, and for all of our ministers this evening, from ushers through Eucharistic ministers and servers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you sent your Son to be with us always. Listen kindly to our prayers and grant us the peace proclaimed by angels. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please join us singing Away in a Manger. It's number 90 in the Breaking Bread book, number 90.
God, we ask your blessing on these, our intercessions. May they rise like incense before the throne of God. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And Lord God, we ask your blessing on these, the gifts of our household for the ministry of Jesus Christ at St. Henry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, we stand and pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we look forward, O oh Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <laughs> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize him, him, God made visible, we may be caught up through him in the love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 O God of hope, heaven and earth, I fall of your glory, I fall of your glory, I in the highest, I fall of your glory, I fall of Please kneel or be seated. For those receiving communion, please know that at St. Henry we receive in the hand only. Also, we will bring communion to those in the Madonna Center and we'll have five stations. Also, if you receive non-gluten, you can get into the line with Father Charles and indicate that you wish a non-gluten host. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save the Savior. Save the Savior. Savior of the world. Savior of the world. Follow by your cross. Follow by your cross. And resurrection. And resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, and Peter, our bishops, with all the clergy and your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Henry and Cunegunda and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Sisters, let us now stand. For at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us share a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Please turn to number 76 and join in singing Night of Silence, number 76, and then we will sing Silent Night, which is on the next page.
Please be seated for our communion prayer. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may draw new vigor from celebrating the nativity of your only begotten Son, by whose heavenly mystery we receive both food and drink, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Just a few announcements. First of all, I think you've noted that we have communion, or pardon me, Christmas offertory envelopes at the end of the pew. If you didn't have an opportunity to uh, see that, you can always come back next week. <laughs> We're a one-stop shopping church. Lectors, uh, do pick up your lector workbooks. They're in the sacristy, and there's no charge for the workbook. On December 28th, a reminder of our Vesper service at 7 o'clock on the Feast of Holy Innocence. Also, the traveling crib. We've emptied it three times. You've been so generous. Thank you on behalf of so many mothers and infants. And uh, the last day will be the 28th. There will be a bilingual adoration on December 31st at 6 p.m. And the Spanish Mass follows at 7. There will be no 8 a.m. Mass on New Year's Day. I believe that's a Saturday. But we have a 10 o'clock Mass in the middle of the morning for New Year's Day. The Vigil Mass um, is still at 5 p.m. for the weekend on Saturday night. We have a tradition at St. Henry where we sing along with Burl Ives. So do join with me because my voice is faltering in my old age. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and in case you didn't hear. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. This is as close as I will ever come to a mitre. Please stand. <laughs> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Feliz Navidad and have a Merry Christmas. Go in peace to give glory and praise to God. Thanks be to God. God rest you, merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, night of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, night of comfort and joy. God, our Heavenly Father, a blessed angel king, unknown to certain shepherds, what tidings of the same. A virgin Bethlehem was born, the Son of God by name. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Fear not, then said the angel.
angel when nothing you must fight. This day is born a savior, a virgin pure and bright, to free all those who trust in him through Satan's power and might. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. To the Lord sing praises, all you within this place. And with true love and charity, each other now embrace. This holy tide of Christmas is filled with heavenly grace. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Please take your conversations to the Madonna Center. This is a sacred place. Please take your conversations to the Madonna Center. It was so good to see you back. Merry Christmas. <laughs> 